Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here. We're talking Week 5 NFL action, and the Atlanta Falcons are going on the road to check out the Houston Texans. Now, hmm, I'm sorry, Falcons fans. Your team is talented. Your coaching staff doesn't know what the hell to do with them. They haven't fixed their offensive line. The defense is a sieve. So... All the Matt Ryan and Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley and Devonta Freeman you want doesn't matter. It doesn't. That's how you get fantasy points. It's not how you win games. I'm sorry. Houston knows how to win games. They fixed their offensive line. Well, not fixed, but it's better. Um, they have a strong running game. Their defense is much tougher than people think it is. And there's an intangible factor to Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins that you do not get with Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. I'm sorry. You're playing in Houston against a team that can match you for talent on the offensive side and has you beat for talent on the defensive side, and has you beat in coaching. I think this is going to be a lopsided victory in favor of Houston. Atlanta can't get out of its own way right now. They're finding ways to lose. And Quinn should have been fired in the offseason. He should not have been allowed to rebuild yet another coaching staff that disappoints this city. Atlanta fans do not deserve a team with this much talent that still ends up being this bad. I would be furious. As an Atlanta fan, I would be furious at the front office and the coaching staff for still managing to choke away games with quarterback and wide receiver and running back talent that they've been blessed with the past two seasons. It does not make sense to me. They need to change directions. They need to stop focusing on the skill positions and start making sure this offensive line does something. They need to get rid of the damn coach and make a defense that works in this division. Because the Saints have found a way to win games without their damn quarterback. Why can't other teams do it? Atlanta can do that. They just don't have the coach and the front office that have set the personnel up for success. They don't. I do not put this on the players. I don't. I put this squarely on the coaching staff in the front office for building a team that is just set up for failure. They don't have the right leadership. They do not have the talent in the right places to consistently win in this league. That said, um, I think they're going to put up fantasy points. Start Julio, start Calvin Ridley. They're both going to have really good fantasy production games. Devonta Freeman should have been benched early and should still be on the bench because there's just better options than him. He is, at this point, a play for um, bye weeks. Emergency starts for injury. That's it. Uh, you might be able to trade bait somebody with him because he's got a fantasy football name. But that's it. Um... Hooper is a streaming start. There's better tight end options. This year. I mean, going into this year, I would have said Hooper was like a top five, top six tight end option because I thought it was going to be light. But a lot of tight ends have come up in a way that we didn't expect. Evan Ingram's a top two tight end now. He was more like option number eight to ten last year. Um... Hawkinson, I did not expect a rookie to jump in and do that well. So they're not the only ones. You know, Andrews um, over in Baltimore, much more than expected. So, so Hooper's usable, but there's better options than him. So, yeah, streaming, injury, that sort of thing, but um, not an every week start. And definitely not a start in this game. Um, I just think that the defense is going to be able to take him out 
Uh, and like Ridley and Julio will get theirs because of who they are and what they are in the scheme. I, I don't think you should start Matt Ryan. I think this defense is going to sack him enough and force him into turnovers. And because he's going to be forced to keep up with Houston's offense, which can definitely put up a shit ton of points against this porous ass Atlanta defense. So, uh, the rest of the country agrees, by the way. More than 60% of the people think that Houston's going to win. Uh, there is a five and a half point um, spread in favor of Houston. I think they beat that. I think they win by a touchdown um, only because they're going to take the foot off the gas. They could win by more if they went like, you know, the Patriots and just kept the pedal to the floor the whole game. I think they've got more class than that. So they're going to ease up towards the end of the game and keep it closer than it needs to be, but they're still going to be win by a touchdown. So um, hit me up in the rest of the videos to see what I think about the rest of the games and the uh, Nerdy Sports Fan Weekly episode to see what I think about the first quarter of the season.